As a photographer, the ability to shoot anywhere at any time is a must-have skill, and this only comes with a tremendous amount of practice. As a primarily natural light photographer, one of my favorite exercises is chasing light. Taking a subject to any location when there is fantastic light, usually dusk or dawn is a safe bet, and just be spontaneous. Look for pockets of light and shadow, and shoot great portraiture. In this video, I'm going to take you downtown Manhattan to the Financial District to show you how I chase light. My name's Corey Vanderpool, at Corey Photo on Twitter and Instagram. Let's just get right into it. Chasing light should be practiced with no pressure. Just you, a subject, and the freedom to shoot whatever you please. I prefer to do this at dusk or dawn when the sun is low and moving very fast. Small pockets of light create gorgeous fleeting moments through cracks in buildings or trees, reflected off buildings and windows, long shadows along the ground and against walls. The possibilities really are infinite. The light moves so fast that you have to act fast. Use your gut and follow your instincts. Be excited to fail. See what works and what doesn't. This exercise is going to train you to be decisive in the moment, direct a subject clearly and concisely, and learn how to shoot in the best possible light. You'll also walk away with some amazing photos. For this set of images, I wanted to shoot in the financial district. I love how the light bounces off buildings, shadows and slivers of light can appear out of nowhere, and the never-ending architecture gives amazing backdrops at any angle. It's literally a playground for photographers. I kept it very simple, just my Hasselblad and a 50mm equivalent lens, and no other gear. Learning to use restrictions like this as an advantage is a wonderful skill to have down the road. My first step is to just walk around and look for any kind of sunlight streaking through the streets, and in less than 5 minutes I found it. The first thing I do is ask my subject to stand in the light and feel it. Then I observe how she moves and start shooting right away. The less you can think and the more in the moment you can be, the better. Use different angles and positions in the light until you find something that works. When you hit it, you'll feel it. It's all about experimenting with no expectations. Letting the subject explore the space while you observe what's working and what isn't. Most of it won't work, but follow your gut and enjoy the process. It's not just about finding a light source. Look for what naturally breaks up the light or diffuses the light or bounces the light. In this shot, the light was coming through the trees creating amazing light patterns on her face. Amazingly enough, in the background there were trees blocking buildings creating the exact same effect. This light will only stay like this for 10 to 15 minutes, so you have to act fast. Follow your instincts and just capture that light. The ability to see light in the same way the camera does and having the subject that can find her light only comes with experience and by practice. So do it often. I can't say it enough. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I really like shooting dramatically up or down on subjects. It instantly adds a new dynamic to the image. Pair that with fantastic light and beautifully tall architecture as a background, and you have the recipe for an interesting frame. I saw this small elevated section near the subway and shot for less than three minutes. Something just didn't feel right in the moment. I feel like I wasn't getting it. I got a few shots and kept moving, never slowing to allow the moment to feel stale. Move in and out. Don't be afraid to try new ideas and fail. Every time you'll learn something new and you can use that in the immediate or distant future. Finally, I stumbled across this small area. This is the gold I was looking for and I ended up staying in this small 20 foot radius for about 30 minutes. It had beautiful bounce light, slivers of light, excellent shadows, great backdrops, no one was around and the light was shining and it looked like it would be here for a minute. It was a perfect little playground for natural light shooters to go sailing right out there and experiment with fleeting, finite light. The first thing I saw was light bouncing off a building. It was bouncing off yellow wood, the glass, even the concrete, and all of them combined gave this beautiful glow. Because the light was so soft, I wasted no time and I took a great close-up portrait. This light also allowed me to experiment and mess around with this camera I was using for the first time. So I tried some wacky slow shutter stuff and just went with my gut, shot from the hip. I didn't even review on site, I figured I would analyze it later. Most of them were garbage, but I did get a few lucky ones. After less than 10 minutes of shooting, there was an amazing sliver of light shining right through us and we spent the rest of the time there. Playing in a small patch of light like this can instill in even the most experienced photographers how beautiful and literal light is. It never gets old and you can always create a fantastic image with it. The best part about this whole process is you walk away with a brand new set of images, but you also learn a tremendous amount of knowledge no matter your photographic level. 
Exercises like this are invaluable, so do them often. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and check me out on Instagram, at Corey Photo. My name's Corey Vanderplu. Happy shooting.